indicated that upon resumption, we were going to hear the Deputy President. Upon resumption, Senior Counsel Paul Mui for and on behalf of the Deputy President, when I asked him to usher in the Deputy President for purposes of presenting him to give his evidence in chief, the senior counsel indicated that even him, he was unaware of the whereabouts of his client and he asked for a few minutes to go fetch him wherever he was. After a few minutes, Senior Counsel Paul Mwite came back to the chamber and indicated that he had gotten information which he was yet to verify that his client had fallen sick and indicated that he needed time to go look, look for him in whichever hospital he is and that he should be given up to 5 p.m. today. The Council for the National Assembly in response indicated that this is a time-bound process. He referred to the Senate to rule to rule 11 of our rules of procedure that where the deputy president fails to appear the senate can actually proceed or for exceptional reasons to be recorded permit a later appearance before the senate of the deputy president Having considered the two sides, my directions are as follows. That we will suspend this sitting and resume at exactly five. So the Deputy President, we expect at exactly five. So the Deputy President, we expect the Deputy President then to take the witness stand at five. This is a time-bound process, unfortunately. It is so ordered.